Yeah, so you might, so you might ask, why would a congressman from, from Williamson County, Texas, get involved in the plight of, uh, of, of endangered African species? And the real reason is, is that, w that what Congressman Carter uh, discovered was that there are another number of Williamson County residents that actually own some of these species, that they've been thriving on our, on our properties, uh, and been very successful in raising them, and so what he was doing was responding to his constituents' concern that the federal government is coming in, regulating our lives, um, dictating what we can do, and it's actually hurting the species uh, that the Endangered Species Act says needs to be protected. I had a, a visit in my office in D.C. in Washington uh, by constituents and uh, people in the business of raising endangered, the, this endangered species, these three antelopes that we're talking about. And they were telling me that when they started di you know, importing these African animals and, and people were buying them and placing them on their ranches around, mostly in Texas, but in other parts of the country too, it was a conservation project to try to revitalize dying herds in Africa. Some of these uh, were on the right on the edge of going extinct. Uh, and, the, and it was agreement was made that they would be able to raise them with basically very little government interference. And there was no permitting required, they just raised the animals. Uh, and as, as all, all, all good livestock managers do in Texas, they did a great job and these herds started to thrive. Anti-hunting groups actually filed a lawsuit to stop this program and to put regulations on the program and permitting system, and that, in effect, destroyed the market. If, if the purpose of the environmental, uh, of the environmental law is to protect animals and protect endangered species, the fact that we were able to amend this to go back to the no permitting system will make these herds grow and thrive and flourish. Because of the, the new regulations and, the, and the, the, the burdens that went into place, I can't, I can't harvest any of the animals now, and so the, the population of the animals on my land has continued to expand, and I need to be able to take off several a year just to keep the, the herd size manageable. I've already pulled the cattle off the property to leave enough grass for the, for the oryx, uh, but, but I personally need to be able to manage uh, the property. It's just basically good livestock management. You know, it, it's not hard to fight for something that just makes good common sense. And there's a lot of shortage of that in Washington. So, uh, but here in Texas, common sense prevails.